The ultimate objective for any company should be that workers do not pay recruitment fees. Instead, the employer should pay recruitment agencies for their services directly. This is the only acceptable approach for recruiting workers. During audits, it's the only one that will not result in a priority nonconformance. This approach has to be established from the top with a no-fees policy. A no-fees policy should state, workers must not be required to pay any fees for their employment. The types of unacceptable fees and charges. Any fees paid by workers are to be reimbursed, along with a timeline for repayment. And that it applies to the entire workforce of the company, its supply chain, and business partners. To make sure the policy is put into practice, the policy should define who is responsible for implementation, explain how it will be implemented, and define the consequences of non-compliance. Policies should be kept up to date. A good way of checking this is to benchmark against the policies of industry peers. The policy must include a detailed list of fee amounts in unambiguous language so that all parties have a clear understanding of what is unacceptable. What happens if your company uncovers a situation where workers were charged recruitment fees? The worker should be reimbursed as soon as possible, but no later than 90 days after they started working or after the fees were discovered. We'll cover this in more detail later. Policies should be endorsed from the top. Communication with suppliers has a lot more weight if it comes from senior executives. The policy establishes the rule of no recruitment fees, but putting it into practice will require changes in the way managers and supervisors carry out their roles. How will they know what changes to make in order to comply with the no-fee policy? The company must define the main operational practices used to implement the policy. These should include define roles and responsibilities, ensuring that implementation is not confined to one person, identify risks, and how to mitigate them. Establish consequences for non-compliance. Determine a procedure to solve any issues discovered. Define how to communicate the policy internally to suppliers and to recruitment agents. Suppose you have a new supplier. You want to make sure they understand you hold them accountable for implementing your no-fee policy. How could you ensure they understand their accountability? The policy should be shared internally and throughout your supply chain, coming directly from the highest levels of your company. But suppliers also need to understand their accountability for carrying out the policy. A good starting point is to include the no-fees policy in contracts with both suppliers and subcontractors. In turn, suppliers themselves should pass on this requirement in their own contracts with their own suppliers. When you meet with a supplier, Explain the requirements to make sure they understand their responsibilities. At the same time, explain the benefits of moving to a no-fees model. This can help persuade suppliers to fully implement the policy. Review the implementation of the policy regularly to ensure it covers the full scope of your operations. Suppose that you've persuaded your direct suppliers to implement their own no-fees policy. Does this indicate your entire supply chain is covered by the rules defined in your no-fees policy? Your direct suppliers will most likely have suppliers of their own. It's important to ensure the policy guidelines are passed down the supply chain. Your policy should not only aim to comply with customer requirements. The goal should be to prevent recruitment fees throughout your entire supply chain. That's why you should regularly review the policy to develop preventive approaches and expand its scope. Let's review. A no-fees policy establishes a commitment from the top to prevent recruitment fees from being charged to workers. If fees were charged, the policy states that they must be paid back no later than 90 days after discovery. The policy is linked with procedures, laying out who's responsible, how to mitigate risks, and what to do if any issues are discovered. Communicate the policy and procedures internally and throughout your supply chain 
holding your suppliers accountable through their contracts. Review the policy regularly to move toward a preventive approach, working with your direct suppliers to implement your no-fees policy in their own supply chains.